Hey everyone, Matron here bringing you another StarCraft 2 commentary. This time another game between Inflow Mini spawning as the Red Protoss and EG Hydra spawning as the Blue Zerg. So I wanted to bring you this game for a few reasons. One, I really like the strategy that Inflow Mini used in the last game. It was a good timing push on Zelnaga Caverns getting up a second base and getting down five warp gates and very strong pressure off those five warp gates. He used the Corona Boost well uh, and was just able to crush Hydra's defense. Hydra went for some early roaches, it was not very effective with them, uh, and he did lose that game, raging a little bit at the end, and that was the second reason I wanted to bring you this follow-up game, as it looks like this game took place uh, quite immediately following the first game, perhaps they did a, a quick rematch, and they are continuing their dialogue from the first game, so pretty interesting there, uh, fun to see the personality of both players. Hydra often painted as a, uh, a bad boy or a BM of StarCraft II and kind of see that play out a little bit here. So Scrap Station is going to give Hydra a few advantages on this map as he will be able to get down a fast expand possibly a little bit easier than on Zelnaga Caverns but Inflow Mini if he goes for the same 5 gate fast expand build uh, he will actually be able to get a, an easy fast expand as well. So both players uh, hoping to win this one as I'm sure it's a bit of a grudge match and we'll see who comes out on top this time. So it looks like Idris coming down with a drone, possibly to get up this expansion, but we see he does not have enough minerals yet. So instead he's going to work on this probe, and he's going to continue to spend minerals in his main, getting down this pool, and continuing just to drone up. And he's just going to keep working on this probe. So taking down all the shields of this probe right now, looks like he was able to do 5 damage, and now the probe is going to back away and live to scout another day. And now Idris is going to be saving up for this expansion. He almost has enough. And now he has the 300 minerals throwing up that fast hatchery. So it looks like it was about a 14 pool and then a 16 hatchery. So he got up that expansion early enough that he's going to be able to use it this game. And we'll see how Inflow Mini is able to respond and whether he goes for a similar build as he did in the first game. He's getting down a cybernetic score. Uh, no zealot right now. Actually, here comes the zealot and he's going to position him at this choke point. The choke is rather large here with the scrap station ramp being uh, quite a bit larger than the Zelnaga ramp. He's not going to be able to close off this choke unless he puts down another pylon here. So it looks like this probe is now going to make sure of the build of Hydra. He's going to see the fast expand. He's going to know that there's gas down. The spawning pool's up as well. No roach worn yet. So now the first two Zerglings of Hydra coming out, he likes to produce just those two Zerglings to try to stop any sort of early scout, or any sort of, uh, I guess you'd call it mid-game or early to mid-scouting by that probe. And it looks like we do have the Zealot coming across here, going to be meeting these Zerglings, taking a few shots at the Zerglings, one Zergling very low, down to just the four hit points. And now the Zealot moving across the field with a Stalker as well. Stalker going to be able to close that distance as they are very fast. Now we see four Zerglings being produced by Hydra as well as a spine crawler, and also moving this queen in position to defend against the Zealot. If the Zerglings are able to get a surround on the Zealot with help from the queen, it could take it down. We see a creep tumor going down from that queen, and now the queen possibly transferring to this natural, though it needs to back up here so it does not get lost to the Stalker and the Zealot here. This is something we saw in the first game, early units coming out for Inflow Mini and doing as much damage to the economy and forcing as many Zerglings as, as possible from the Zerg player. So smart play here, just pulling back anytime his HP and shields get low. And now going to be doing as much damage as he can, taking down as many Zerglings as possible, kiting back with these Stalkers. Zerglings not as fast as Stalkers without that speed upgrade. We see the speed is about halfway done. Another six Zerglings coming from uh, Hydra here, and he's going to need all of them as these Stalkers are about half health and one, sh one has all the shields down. They may be able to pick off this queen. And queen going to be doing as much damage trying to surround with these zerglings and kite away from this queen. But the queen is going to go down to the stalkers here. One more shot. And that's really going to hurt Hydra as he's not going to be able to macro as easily off this second hatchery. So we see another queen coming. So if we look at the units lost tab, 350 uh, resources lost for Hydra. But 150 of that was the queen. So these early units from Inflow Mini doing the job, placing pressure on Hydra, forcing them to get Zerglings out instead of the, uh, the drones that Hydra really wants to get out. Now we see a few sentries and a uh, Zealot coming out, and it looks like you're going to try to save this Stalker. 
getting off a few force fields, going to try to reduce the, uh, the surface area on these Protoss units. But now that speed has kicked in on these Zerglings, they are going to be able to get an easy surround. And now this, uh, it looks like he's going to be able to get a run by. These Zealots did not warp in in time, neither did that Sentry. And it looks like Inflow Mini going to be able to force, uh, well, Hydra forcing the probes off of Mineral Collection there. And Inflow Mini able to take care of those probes pretty easily. Also throwing down that Nexus about 80% complete. And Hydra at this point has just been droning up for like, the saturation for both players. 42 Harvesters for Hydra compared to the 31 for Inflow Mini. Looks like uh, Inflow Mini is now getting up the 4th and 5th gates. So also getting a transfer over to this natural. Has a nice little setup here, a small choke. So he now has uh, two chokes here. He can wall off with uh, a zealot here, or if he does have the sentry and fast reaction, he can get a force field up here as well. Now it looks like he is going to get these warp gates chrono boosted and just start pushing off of these, uh, these five warp gates. Pushing back this one overlord. Hydra now got up a Hydralis Den and also working on Hydralis range. So if he can get up these Hydralis in time to defend against this push, as well as the spine crawler, he may be able to uh, push back against these gateway units. Hydralis are very good damage dealers against uh, equal numbers of gateway units. Now we see Inflow mo Mini moving out with a nice sizable army here, 1125 compared to the 200 of Hydra. He also has a proxy pylon being warped at this Zelnaga tower here. So Hydra pushing out more and more units, six Zerglings and four Hydralis. He knows the timing of this attack because they had just played on Zelnaga Caverns. So trying to defend with Hydralis this time, and we will see how effective he's able to be. See Inflow Mini trying to set up another forward pylon. Not going to be able to be able to on that creep as Hydra's done a good job spreading these creep tumors. Now Mini pushing in here, he's got a nice uh, size force, but the Hydralis of Hydra could cut this in half. A number of good force fields going to be able to prevent the retreat of these Hydralis on this, uh, the creep here. And it looks like he's going to be able to take down these initial Hydralis. More and more units coming out for Hydra at this point, but Inflow Mini is just reinforcing with more and more units of his own. Zealots now coming in, trying to push back these Hydralis. Going to force these Hydralis to kite back on this creep. It looks like Ze uh, Zerglings are coming in to reinforce for Hydra. I'm not sure he's going to have enough units here. Five Hydralis right now against the reinforcing units of Inflow Mini. If you look at the income of both players, uh, Hydra has skyrocketed with 50 Harvesters now compared to the 40 of Inflow Mini. So we should see a pretty constant uh, amount of units coming from both players. Now see four Hydralis, now five Hydralis trying to push back here. Inflow Mini waiting for more of his Warp Gates. He does have Chrono Boost working on Warp Gates here. So getting as many units as possible, now bringing in a probe as well, doing its five little damage. Hydra pulling back here, I think this is a smart move, instead of streaming in small numbers of Hydralis, he's going to pull back, wait till he has a sizable Hydra force, and then hopefully these uh, Stalkers are not attacking the right things. A few of them are just attack moving in against the Hydralis den. They really need to focus down these Hydralis, as we now have the Queen coming in, trying to help the Hydralis with DPS against these Stalkers. Eight more Hydralis and eight more uh, Lings coming in. And now we see the drones pulling off, trying to push back these stalkers, and just trying to buy time as well. As these uh, hydralis are about to pop, we see the hydralis coming in and doing more DPS. These drones doing a good job forcing back these stalkers. Stalkers do not shoot very fast, so if you can keep pushing them back, they're going to be very, uh, or a lot less effective. As we see the hydralis numbers growing now, and it looks like he is pushing against these stalkers. Not really sure about the micro of these stalkers at this point. And it looks like Hydra, or the Hydras are going to be able to take down this force as he is reinforcing with more and more Hydras here. And the income levels of Hydra and just the productivity of the Zerg off those two bases is going to uh, it's going to overcome the, the five gateway push here. So Hydra was able to take down that forward pylon and now no more pressure from the, uh, the Protoss player. Looks like we do have a robotics facility coming down. Inflow Mini knows he is behind on the tech. And he is chrono boosting off of all five of these warp gates at this point. He has a decent number of resources piled up as well. So he's going to have to reinforce this army. Hydra is pushing across midfield here. Throwing down overlords to try to get that creep down as well. So these destructible rocks, the second of the pair, are about to go down. And if we look at the army tab, 1750 to 1250. And Hydra is producing 10 zerglings and 5 uh, hydralists now coming out as well. Getting a creep tumor midfield here. So he's going to be able to attack 
and really reinforce from those hatcheries very quickly. Now we see the army tab pretty even right now, 1950, 2125 to the 1425. These Zerglings are doing work on the Stalkers here. The Zealots are trying to take down these Hydralis. You really like to see the Zealots working on the, uh, the Zerglings instead, and the Stalkers working on those Hydralisks. But it looks like the Zerglings are now going to be able to push up into the base, focusing down this one pylon. It's going to depower two of these, uh, these warp gates, now unpowered. And it looks like Inflow Mini is just going to be off these three gateways. I'm not sure he's going to be able to take on these Hydralisk forces, especially as Hydra reinforces with more and more Hydralisks. So it looks like Hydra may be able to take this game. Probe's being pulled off the line to try to soak up a little bit of this damage, but now these gateways are not going to be able to work as fast as the hatcheries of Hydra, and these Hydralis just ripping into the, uh, the gateway units of Inflow Mini. So Inflow Mini is going to lose here, and Hydra was able to respond to that 5 uh, warp gate build with the, two, uh, the second Nexus. There was a lot of pressure coming from Inflow Mini, a very strong push. I thought Hydra was actually going to lose this game a number a number of times, but he was able to uh, to keep up his production and his macro, and then pull those drones off the line. I thought that was a key move. It really delayed the uh, the push of the stalkers, and he was able to get those eight zerglings and eight hydras to pop, and then finally clean up that pressure by inflow mini. Now you see both players uh, just going back and forth uh, a little bit, spreading the the BM all around. Uh, it looks like. Inflow Mini actually warping in pylons all over the map, delaying the game, so BMing Hydra right back, possibly going a little bit over the top as well. But I just wanted to bring you this game because I thought that was a very interesting 5-gate 2-base build that Inflow Mini used. Good timing attack, and you saw that was a lot of pressure, and Hydra was able to fend it off with the Hydras. Uh, so after that first loss, he was able to react, did not go Roaches, wasn't really sure about that decision in the first game but was able to repel this attack and then counter push with those Hydras and eventually win this game. So these players actually did play another game preceding this a few weeks ago, patch 1.1.2, which I will also cast. So that could set the stage for these later two games here, which just happened recently. So if you want, check that third game out. It should be on my channel, matronstarcraft at youtube.com. Uh, and hope you enjoyed this game both for the strategy and for the banter between the two players. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in game three.